Okay, so let's start to install Eve NG on VMware Workstation. Basically, there are two flavor of Eve NG. One is Community Edition, which is totally free. And this the one which we download. Other one is Pro version, which cost you, you need to buy that one. But it's okay, Eve NG Community Edition you can uh, use up to 63 nodes per lab. So these are sufficient for us to do our lab CCNA, CCNP and even CCIE. 63 nodes are too much. And as we know, Eve NG support multi-vendor product. You can prepare any exam in Eve NG, maybe Juniper, maybe Cisco, Palo Alto, Aruba, and window linux and so many things you can do in eve ng so we already download eve ng ova file in last lecture and if it is not you can download from this link and either you can go to this direct google drive link and click on download to download this zip file Keep in mind, I already told you, you need to download OVF file, not ISO. So in last lecture, we download, here is Eve community and it's in zip format. So let's install 7 zip first. So click on yes, install and it's done. Now I can use, so right click on Eve community edition, go to 7 zip and extract to Eve community. So it will unzip this one. That's why we need 7-zip utility. So let's see it's unzip now and there is three file. Let's go to, we already installed VMware Workstation Pro. Go to file, open, and let's go to the file which we download. And this is an Eve ng lab file folder and this the eve community edition and it will open this file ovf file open virtualization format so click on this one to open now it asks you what name you should give this virtual machine so let's keep the same and storage path so let me change where i want to store this file so let me go to d and normally i keep my virtual machines here so let me give them a name if ng community. So this is the folder name and okay. So I change the location and this is the file name and click import. So it will import if ng community edition. So it will take some time. Let's go. So we download here and then we click on file open and open. It's asking the name and we are to store this virtual machine. So we click on import to import OVF file. Okay. And it will take some time. So when it's import, don't run them. We need to change few things. Okay. And those changes are these one. We need to change the RAM. We need to change the processor. We need to add another hard drive and we need to change the network adapter. Okay, and we need to on the virtualization. Otherwise, the switches will not run. So let's go back. Yeah, it's imported now. So by default, RAM is 8 GB. Processor is 4 and hard drive is 50. And there is only one adapter, which is bridge. So don't keep them bridge. It will give you some error. You will face issues. So it's better to change all these things. So there are many way you can go to edit virtual machine setting either click anywhere so it will open a window okay first thing the ram is up to your requirement in my case because i'm using my personal pc and my personal pc my ram is 48 gb so i can give them more okay and also i have a i7 processor so what i need to do is up to your requirement in my case, I will increase the RAM to 16 GB. If you have 16 GB RAM, then give them 8 GB is enough. Processor is okay. If you want to increase, you can increase as well. So I change the processor to 8. 
and keep in mind this has to be enabled virtualization so virtualization is already enabled if it is not you need to enable now hard drive is very small because we will upload many images cisco is firepower ftd fmc so we need another hard drive don't increase this one we need to add so the way is click on add and click hard drive next keep this this one next keep the same one next default one and here let me add 200 minimum but make sure that store virtual disk is a single file click on this link and next and you are done so this is another hard drive they create and they will add them it will work don't increase this one i told you you just need to add another hard drive maybe if you need to upload many images you can come here and you can add another hard drive as well so two change, uh, changes we done we change the uh, memory we change the processor and in processor we enable virtualization and we add another hard drive now coming to adopters so change this adapter to net it will make easy because bridge means i don't know which uh, interface of mine is bridge if it is wi-fi so whenever you're going to your office so it will take that range when you come to your home so it will take that range and sometime it will not get ip so it will be an issue so it's better to make them net i will tell you about all these interfaces anyway so i change but i need another adapter as well click on add and here you can add another adapter and change the second adapter to host only so now i have two adapter in future we will use these adapter in our lab so this is the first one is net and this is host only okay and we are done and click ok so i change the memory i change the processor i add one extra hard drive i change the first adapter to net and i add another adapter and change them to host only if i go back so this is the thing which i done okay and i change them to net and i add another adapter as well okay and then i can power on now so let's go back and we can now power on from here either here so let's click on this one power on this virtual machine so this eve ng first time will run and what we need to do when it's on it will show you this window and on the top it will show you default username and password which is root and eve okay and the ip address it will take the ip from this range because we make the first adopter net so our net range is 192.168.114 so it means it will take ip automatically because dhcp is enabled so it will take ip from this range let's go back yes so it's take 192 168.114.163 so let's log in the first thing root password is eve and enter it will ask you to set up first time so type the same password e eve it will not show you and enter again put eve -E and enter now host name keep the default one and enter dns keep the default and enter from dhcp it's okay and okay ntp okay direct connection yes okay and that's it this is the first time configuration you just need to type your password two time and click okay 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 and that's it and you are done so this system will restart let me show you so i type eve and eve again then the host name is eve ng this i keep the same dns enter keep the same setting to get the ip from dhcp and enter and then ntp i keep the default one and enter we are directly connected to internet because we don't have any proxy so i say direct connection and okay now when i start first time we need to upgrade the system to latest version so the command is apt get update that's the first thing you need to do so it's come up now if i say root and password eve now i'm logging so this is our ip to use in the browser but before using in the browser is better to update them so paste here and this is the command apt get update and enter okay so it will take some time okay it will update and then we will upgrade them 
apt-get upgrade so let me copy this command as well so you can get the latest things each and everything okay the stable and everything so the first command you need to type apt get update and second is apt get upgrade these are a linux type of command which you can use them okay and then we will reboot and after reboot we can type the same ip in the browser and we can access so let's go so it will take some time let me pause the video for a while when it's done it will not take that much time it's almost 65 percent done so when it's done i will show you and then i need to type the second command to upgrade them to the latest version okay, so it's done now i need to type the second command paste and it's upgrade and click ok and type yes okay so i type this second command which i told you this one and then you need to type yes and it will take some time almost 16 percent 17 percent done and after that is better these two command otherwise you can use them straight away as well but it's better to upgrade them to the latest version okay okay so it's about to finish okay so basically we run two command first one is update and second one is upgrade and after that i need to reboot you can type reboot and when it's done you can access eve ng so let's see uh, it will take another one minute and i after that i need to reboot and then i can use this eve ng so let's see it's almost done and it's update as well and also upgrade so it's almost done okay and after that i need to reboot so you can type the command yeah it's come up now so there, there what do you want to about modify configuration so I, I don't want to modify so the current one is it's okay and click ok and after that let's see it will upgrade to the latest one and it's almost done by the way maybe hardly it will take another one minute to finish so these two command will help you to update and upgrade now it's done Control l to clear the screen and reboot so now i'm going to restart eve ng and after that i can use eve ng straight away so now let's see it will restart and after that it will show you the ip so keep in mind uh, the username and password is different admin is the username and password is eve if you want to log in graphically cli username is root and password is eve so keep in mind here i need to type admin and eve while in cli i need to type root and eve so let's go back yeah so this is my ip i need to type in any browser so open any browser and type http it's mentioned http not at https so 114 and ip is 163 again i'm telling you this http not https otherwise it will not open so now eve is open type admin here and password is eve -E and enter okay so this first time login create a folder here suppose you want to do ccnp so this is my ccnp folder and open ccnp and now open a file lab here suppose ccnp lab1 and save and this way it's open but there is no nodes install we will install nodes this support a lot of images if you want to log out so it's log out okay and if you want to log in eve you can log in back and if you want to close the lab so close the lab so this is the my first lab and is click on this folder so in ccnp if you need another one so it's better to create for suppose uh, pl palo alto create a folder and go to this folder and open a new one pa lab one 
so now this this is the way to organize them okay so if i close the lab so i have to up arrow ccnp and up arrow you can go to pa and this way you can open as many folder you want okay and inside you can open by this one add new lab and this is add new folder so this is the organized way so let me open any of these you can open from here either double click here okay so here you can add object either node and these are the object okay and this the network okay whatever you are using in your uh lab okay right now we don't have startup configuration these are for dockers and any other devices we will see this one configuration object and more action if you want to start all the nodes stop all the nodes and if you want to delete all the configuration so all these are available and also when you have a device right click on that it will show you the same thing okay refresh the topology if you want to refresh either you can refresh from here and this is zoom in if you want to zoom in and zoom out okay if you have a topology such as if i have maybe by default there is vpc image so if it is there here is so this the vpc image which is by default there so if i zoom it so it will zoom it and if zoom out so you can do that one as well and right click so you can see start stop and the same things which is available here as well status so if you want to check the status that how much ram is used and swap usage and disk usage so it using my one person cpu right now okay and this is the detail if you want to check and lab detail so my in my lab i have only this lab id which we will use later it's very important so this is my lab name pa lab one and this is the identification of this lab you can lock the lab so you cannot do changes if i try to open or something so you can open but you cannot drag or something because it's lock you know this and, and unlock now you can uh, drag them to any other place so you can lock the lab dark mode you want to change the mode okay and light mode so it will the white one close the lab i already told you if you want to close and log out if you want to log out from here so this is the community edition if i close the lab okay i need to stop this one and then i can close the lab so now close the lab so here you can see main and management user management but we cannot uh, create in community edition many other user here you can uh, we have by default admin so if you want you can create another user here so this management is for that purpose system status which we saw from there and also from here it will show you all the detail related to system okay system logs so whatever the logs are generated it will show you if you need for troubleshooting or something uh, stop all nodes right now we are not running any nodes okay information about so it will take you to the eveng website and forum and also git lab they have some labs so you can go there and download as well okay youtube channel and help from eveng live chat so you can get help from them and this is the eveng so it will take you again to the eveng website right now i'm logging admin this is the default one and if you want to sign out from here so let me go main and let me open again so this is the overall view of this eveng and when you use them so you will learn all these things automatically it's so easy and one of the good simulation software so let's go back so we log in here and that's it and you can use them straight away